Hi everyone, my name is Chris Manzano. I'm the athletic trainer and strength and conditioning specialist here at Home Base, a partnership between the Red Sox Foundation and Massachusetts General Hospital. Our goal here at Home Base is to provide you with exclusive on demand health and wellness content that you could share with your friends, your family, or anyone else at Home Base Nation. So, today is Warm Up Wednesday, and I'm going to be showing you three dynamic warm up movements that you could do for your whole body to get you ready for a workout. The first one we're going to do is called the inchworm. So, you're going to start standing up and you're going to reach your hands down to the floor and walk them out into a push-up position, keeping those legs straight as much as possible. Here in the push-up position, you're just gonna reach out just a little more, engage and activate that core, and then you're gonna walk your hands, or your feet, up to your hands, keeping those legs straight as possible. That's one way to do it if you have a little bit of space, like a long turf like this, or if you don't have a lot of space, another way you could do is come down, same thing, keeping your legs straight, walk your hands out, Engage that core, and then walk your hands back up to your feet, keeping those legs straight as possible. The next one we're gonna do is a downward dog to push up. And it's gonna help activate your shoulders, your shoulder muscles, and movement in what we call a fixed position or a closed kinetic chain. So, you're gonna start in the push up position, feet just a little bit wide, come into a downward dog, and then you come down, push up. Same thing, you're just going to do that a few times, up into a downward dog, down into a push up. If you can't do a push up, one way you can do it is still do the downward dog, come down, knees down to the ground, push up. Knees up, knees down, push up. You don't even have to do a push up at all if you can't do a push up. You can also just do the downward dogs. They're great to do, they help activate your core, they still work your shoulder muscles in that fixed position. Just like that. Good. So the next one we're gonna do is a high lunge with rotation. You're gonna get a nice deep lunge, sit your hips down, and you're gonna rotate back and forth, just like this, about two times. Then step back up. Same thing, other side. Step forward, deep lunge, stay high, rotate back and forth, just like this. Stand back up. These are three great movements that are great to add to your existing routine or create as a routine on its own. Remember, these movements are dynamic movements, meaning they're great to do before your workout because they'll help activate your muscles, the same ones that you would use during your workout. I hope this video helps, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact us at homebase.org. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow us on social media. Just search for Home Base Program. Thank you again for joining, and we'll see you next time.